Hey, y'all. This oh. episode... What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't warn me you were going to do that. Your eyes were closed for five minutes, and then you just <laughs> opened them and said, Hey, y'all. Like, hey, y'all. Miss Coach or some <laughs> shit. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by 20jeans.com. That's the number 20, and then the word jeans.com. And it's called that because they have $20 jeans. And you know what? Actually, I want to mention that I... Got a pair of twenty dollars jeans and from Twenty Jeans. Wore them all last week. Didn't even wash them actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ever. They are they're awesome. Yeah, and, and I I wouldn't recommend a product I didn't love. Just kidding, I would, <laughs> but but you guys are in luck. I actually tested these jeans out. They're awesome. I think two, like two people asked me where they were from. Yeah, and it's so crazy because jeans can cost so much money, but there's no reason for them to cost a lot of money. Yeah. You can get cheap, very stylish, affordable jeans. And they also have cool shirts and other Yeah, we got some too. shirts too. Yeah, we got like $10, $20 t-shirts. My brother liked my shirt so much that he stole it from me. That's right, Micah. <laughs> I saw that picture on Instagram of you and my shirt. And yeah, you looked better in it. But yeah. how do you think that makes me feel? That's not fair. You didn't even (laughs) ask me for it, pal. So, yeah, check out 20jeans.com. Last time we plugged them, we asked uh, if you actually did buy something. Send us the receipt, and we'll give you a shout-out. And guess what? We weren't lying. Trevor B., Anthony A., Patrick N., Sheldon H., Chris R., Alex S., Gabby H., Reginald F., Sean H., Randall B., Luke B., John S., and Michael R. Wow. So Michael R., (laughs) You killed it. <laughs> Everyone else I could take or leave, but Michael R., holy freaking balls, dude. You nailed it. You nailed it. So thanks, uh, thanks guys, for buying. Also, Reginald F. <laughs> really nailed it. And it really helps. It's a great way to support the show while also looking good. You know, our sponsors are happy. That means we're happy, and we get, you know, more money to be able to do cool stuff. So we really appreciate everyone checking them out at least. And if you like what you see, uh, yeah, feel free to buy something. Why not? Uh, thanks so much, and enjoy the episode, everybody. I sent a dirty text to someone. I kill a dog next door, cause I'm down. I went to my man off on the bus. I try to kill myself in a Starbucks. I eat noodles alone at my desk every lunch. Confused and YouTube just won't do. I could write an email to you or a voice message to you. Wow. Hello. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Haley. <laughs> that was Haley Cowan with some sort of amazing intro uh, song for us. Yeah, we just give me give me a couple months and we're going to make her Haley Hurwitz. I think I just <laughs> fell in love with her. I can't believe you would make her change her last name. I think she'd want to. You chauvinistic pig. <laughs> you sexist I'll prick. change my last name to Cowan then. How's that, Haley? And if you're as pretty as you sound, if you're as beautiful as I've just invented in my mind. <laughs> How unattractive can someone who can make that song up be? Right. Like, your voice is, is uh, angelic, so just by... <laughs> I think I I think you're an angel. <laughs> Have you ever heard of love at first sight? Well, this is love at first. I don't know. Sound. Ear. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> and, the other sense. And uh, you're. I feel like Haley is the name of a girl that you would you could fall in love with just based on the name. Yeah, based on the name alone. Is it spelled with a Y? Yep. H a y l e y. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, will you marry me? <laughs> think... Is this crazy? <laughs> oh my god. Is this crazy? Yes, it is. But fuck. <laughs> Fucking crazy is not what we're going for, right, Haley? <laughs> Haley's married with three kids. No. <laughs> uh, Shit. <laughs> anyway, this is If I Were You, the only advice podcast on the internet hosted by us. I'm Amir. And I'm Jake. Unless, are you hosting another uh, advice podcast on the side? You're so insecure. What? Holy shit, you're insecure. Yesterday you didn't want to record. You said you were doing something. Oh my god. You think, and you jumped to the conclusion that I was hosting another advice podcast? And yet you still haven't answered the question. I am. I absolutely am. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> and even if I were, that'd be fine. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> you don't own me. Uh, this is episode 15. Can you imagine? Started from the bottom and now we're here. Yeah, you know, when we first started this, I never thought we'd get to 
episode 15. Really? I did. Really? Yeah, 15 is like not even that much. No, I just, like, I was what'd sure. What do you think would happen? I wasn't sure we were even going to release the first episode. Oh, you thought we would record it and never release I it? I thought we'd record it, listen to it, be like, that was <laughs> fucking embarrassing. Let's um, erase this from ever happening. I is thought that you a would... shower curtain that you've hung up? Yeah. I just want to tell you guys, uh, we are re- we record this in Amir's apartment, <laughs> and I walked in. <laughs> Why don't you tell everyone what I walked into today? Well, if you've listened to the last couple episodes, we couldn't record them here. We record them in a very cavernous place, and I w- the echo really <laughs> We me recorded off. them in a cave. Yeah, so this time I wanted to do things right. I googled how to reduce echo in a room, and they said to turn flat, <laughs> flat, bouncy surfaces like walls into soft, you know, sound absorbent surfaces. So, so as you enter the apartment, you'll notice what uh, there are. Amir has put his shower rod in between uh, a large window in the living room and draped a blanket over it. Uh-huh. It looks like you've hung a flannel shirt over a painting over there. Uh, there's a towel over the TV, a towel over the door. Uh, basically, anywhere, anywhere Amir can hang a towel or a blanket, you have. Uh, it looks insane, but you know what? It's going to sound good. I love it. You are like, the last episode's being echoey was like your biggest nightmare. You uh, lost sleep over it. Yes. I like would read tweets that said like, damn that echo. And it would just like make me sweat. Uh, wow. I hate it. I hate it so much. You but hate echo. I'm glad people still listened and enjoyed it. Actually, our last two episodes were our two most listened to episodes ever. Wow. Despite the echo. Yeah. Or maybe because of the echo. Maybe so, we were doing something right. Ah, 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 right, 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 right. <laughs> Uh, so thanks everyone for listening. If this is your first episode, this is how it goes down. People are in difficult places, sticky situations, and they email us for help. They email us at if I were you show at gmail.com and we do our best to, well, we do go through every single email and we, you know, do our best to try to answer the ones that we think will yield the funniest results. Would you say that's accurate? Uh, yeah, sorry. I've been just staring at the blanket on the window, but yeah, <laughs> essentially that is true. I look like I, I got... I like everything wet and now I'm <laughs> that's what I thought when I walked in I was like is this what he usually does when he does I guess I've never come over when you were doing laundry <laughs> I dry every I towel. was gonna say like you shouldn't dry the towel on the TV <laughs> and actually I walked in and I touched it and I was like I guess it's pretty dry that's fine <laughs> it's bone dry as of now <laughs> If I had my druthers, and one day I will, I'm going to live in an entire carpeted apartment or just like inhabit some sort of studio space that I can live in. Just completely sound absorbent, non echoey, right? That's uh, cold well, recording studio. That's the dream to start recording this in a recording studio. But then we're going to remember these. You know, it hasn't been the same since we left the apartment, remember man. Episode that was 15, that yeah. energy. Can't recapture that. Can't recapture that energy. That's you talking to my tombstone when I <laughs> die in episode 17. So anyway, that's my other advice podcast. Sorry about starting without telling you, but you were dead. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's jump right into things. And as always, we're going to preserve your anonymity by giving every email a fake name. So let's start with this one. We'll call him Danny. Danny. Danny, fake name, real email, writes... My GF started being really clingy and annoying after her dad died in a car accident. So I broke up with her, but now she's telling everyone that I'm a dick. How do I stop these annoying rumors from spreading? Oh man, your life's really hard. Yeah, because oh, he, now like there's rumors that are annoying and like how do you even deal with that? Yeah, do you talk to your living father about it maybe? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is probably the least self-aware I I wish I could give away the email because it's so dumb that but I, I'm trying to think <laughs> of like an equivalent stupid email. Uh I guess I'll say the the, <laughs> the email is equivalent to uh fat blunt sixty nine sixty nine, right? Yeah, I would yeah. say that. I, wait, is it a Gmail? Yeah, it's a Gmail. Interesting. You Still, would think that like somebody that, that had that bad of an email would be like <laughs> Yahoo or Hotmail. He's not that terrible. Uh, the way to stop these annoying rumors from spreading is to stop being an awful person. Uh, just by your email, you're probably the most horrible person that I've never met. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, well, fuck. Yeah. Shit. I don't know what to say other than you're an asshole. I, what do you think? You, you should not have broken up with the girlfriend? Yeah. 
You think you should? I think there's like a, a period where you have to, you know, if she's your girlfriend, you sort of have to deal with the quote unquote clingy and annoying phase, which yeah, I is guess probably like to... just her seeking solace in her boyfriend. And, you know, you can't really break up with someone right after that tragic thing happens. I'd like to know the timeline. That's what I need. Like, did you do it day of? So you're or like, were you doing it? Was he like, I'm going to break up with her. Today's the day. And then she like calls. I was like, my dad's dead. And like, oh, fuck. Now I'm like, but like, I'm already committed. Like, I'm sorry. I was seriously <laughs> mid sentence. I think we should see my dad's dead. Other what? People. Shit. Shit. Don't be clingy. Don't be <laughs> annoying. Don't tell people that I'm a dick. I, yeah, Jesus. You know what? I think there's two options. One, don't be a dick. Stay by her side until she's uh, made a sort of recovery of sorts. Or two, accept the fact that you're a dick. Yeah. Why do you want? Why do you want to prevent these annoying rumors from these? These these aren't even rumors. Though it's it's true. It's a fact. She's telling people that you broke up with her after her dad died, yeah. and that's actually what happened. You might be a dick, but you know what? A lot of people are dicks sometimes. I'm not saying you're always a dick. That yeah. was kind of a dick move. People make dick moves, and hopefully, with the rest of your life. You can just uh, dedicate the rest of your life to not making more dick moves, and then you're not a dick. So if you treat this as like a turning point in your life, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe how big of a dick I used to be. You can still save face right. you know, during the next generation of your life. Like if this is high school and you're going to college, or if this is college and you're going to whatever you're going to after college. I assume... I mean, I want you to be dead, but like if you uh, end up getting a <laughs> you job should have been or in that something. Car. <laughs> oh my god. Awful. You said it. You said it first. You said, I want you to be dead. I took the next logical step. That's not fair, dude. Don't make me feel like a dick like this guy. <laughs> Start the annoying rumors from spreading. <laughs> Fuck uh, that. All right, let's move on to something less severe and intense. Uh, this one comes from Aunt Becky. Oh, Aunt Becky. Fake name, real email. Hey, guys. My name is Aunt Becky. I've been dating this guy for a little over a year. We are both 20, in college, and have broken up twice but gotten back together. He has trust issues and doesn't want me hanging out with any of my guy friends because he thinks guys are too flirty. He doesn't talk or hang out with any girls, so I kind of feel obligated to have equality in the relationship. Is it, okay, is it right f to give up talking or to hang out with my male friends in order to earn his trust? Have either of you guys asked a girlfriend of yours to stop talking to multiple guy friends of hers? Hope to hear an answer from you soon. Thanks, Becky. Really interesting question. But yeah. the relationship sounds stable. They've been together a year and they've only broken up twice. <laughs> that's uh, below so that's, average, I'd say. So that's 12 months with uh, two breakups. Yeah. All right. Not too bad. So that's what, every <laughs> six months you guys break up or something? Yeah. Maybe you're like at month four and eight, they've broken up and they're yeah. due for another one. Cool. That's fair. Um, so it sounds like it's worth fighting for. <laughs> it's worth saving. <laughs> Um, especially if you guys have been together a whole, yeah, I mean, 365 days, and I don't know how many of those days you've spent broken up, but... Well, the problem is it's hard to, like, count the days because she's not allowed to speak or see her friends. Right, that's so true. So it's like, how does she quantify days? So your other question was, have we ever asked a girlfriend of ours to stop seeing or hanging out with, um, multiple, multiple guy, guy friends? friends? And the answer is no, because that's, because we're not insane. Yeah, that's, I, this girl's 20, she doesn't realize that her boyfriend, maybe her first boyfriend is asking something that's uh, terrible. Right. I think a lot of the times people in their first relationships don't really, you don't really know what's normal in a relationship until you've been in several. Right. So and then like, like sometimes two relationships down the line, you'll be like, oh, that girl I dated two years ago was insane. Yeah. I didn't realize she was emotionally abusive until I found someone who was normal and let me spoke to my guy friends. Yeah. It's not normal that this guy isn't speaking with any, like, what, and what do you mean earn his trust? Have you done anything to break his trust? Yeah, she had a she. Her guy friend called her yesterday. She picked up just to tell him that she couldn't talk to him. I think, but default, that was technically talking to a guy friend. Jesus Christ! Default should be trust, unless you've like, <laughs> unless you've cheated on him every single time you guys have been breaking up. In which case, you know what? He shouldn't be going out with you. Yeah, I can't. This is so weird. Like to make a rule where you can't speak to someone of the opposite sex. But I've heard of that before. So have I, but think like, about it. Don't, like, take, don't put that picture on Facebook. Like, my girlfriend doesn't want me to be in a photo with other girls. Or can you not talk to me in public because my boyfriend doesn't want to see me speaking to other girls? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Think about, like, it. I can almost understand, like, how in the moment it's like, oh, yeah, I don't want to, like, I'd rather not have this fight like, right. with my boyfriend. So, like, let's just not even talk because it's not pleasant. But think about the rest of your life. Like, not just you're being 20. For the rest of your life, if you stay with this guy, 
he will not want you to talk to people. <laughs> is that a normal thing when you're 25, 28, when you're turning 30, when you guys are like have kids and you're taking them to preschool? Oh my and... God, can you imagine if she has a boy? Like she can't even speak to her are own son. Are you not allowed son? to raise your son? Are by... you, are, were you talking to Bobby? Your dictator husband's <laughs> rules? <laughs> Don't talk to that son, all right? I'm afraid you guys will hook up. Hey, okay, Um, actually Bobby had sort of a parent-teacher <laughs> conference today. Yeah, well, are any of the teachers men? Because uh, I don't understand how you're going to converse with them. You know the rule. You shouldn't even be talking to our goddamn child. Why did you leave the dungeon that I'm keeping you in? (laughs) And please do not breastfeed our son. For the love of God, nobody's sucking on those teas but me. (laughs) Hey, little Randy just got to sloppy second base with my wife. How's that fair? Randy's a six-month-old baby, you ass. And I saw him get a tiny little boner on it. (laughs) I saw the world's tiniest boner when he was suckling on your teeth. I don't think six months ago when Randy was coming out of your vagina, I didn't see him fucking (laughs) smiling about it. Practically ate out my goddamn wife right in front of me while I was videotaping the thing. How do you think that makes me feel? What if you have a girl? She's like, oh, great. My wife's a lesbian now. (laughs) Breastfeeding our daughter. That's how it works. Every conversation is uh, two people making love. Where does it end, Becky? Where Where does it end? end? I'll tell you where it ends. Right Uh, now. Yeah. Tell your boyfriend that you don't want to be with him. Say, all right, here's a new rule. Here's my new rule. I can speak to whoever I want. And if you don't agree with that, then let's break up. And then he'll be either like, all right, fine, let's break up, which is great because this guy sounds like a real asshole. Or he'll be like, no, 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 okay, you you could talk to other people, and then you can say right, like, but then you'll be talking to other people, and he'll secretly be hating it the entire time. So my advice is to straight up break up. <laughs> Hold straight up, straight up Lover. break up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> can that be my new catchphrase? <laughs> straight up break up. That's what's up. <laughs> what happened to yo do you? Yo do you? Hashtag dope. Straight up break up. That's what's up. That's my song. Straight up break up. That's what's up. Uh, 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 uh. I don't have a second verse yet because I just came up with the first, but like. I'm just glad I hung all these towels around so that this the song uh, is at least recorded well. because The way it, would, it deserves to be. Yeah, if there was too echoey in here, that you would have lost that. Well, the real, the real recorded version will probably have a lot of echo. Straight up, straight up, break up, break up. That's what's up, that, that, that's what's up. Isn't that like a TLC song? Straight up, break up, hold up, Mr. Lover. Like Prince said, you're a sexy uh, mother. Am I a hack? Or maybe, maybe it's straight up, wait up. I hope it's straight up, wait up. Which sounds better than straight up breakup. Well, hey. All right, so Aunt Becky, straight up breakup. That's what's up. We don't like this guy. He's not good. He's not good for you. I really don't And think... we know you. Yeah. <laughs> Just based on your email, we know enough to tell you that. She's a serial cheater that can't be around men. <laughs> no. Nymphomaniac. All right, uh, let's move on to the next email. We went from Aunt Becky to Uncle Jesse. Wow. Uncle, Uncle Jesse, Jesse writes... My, I think my next door neighbor wants to hook up with me. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Short and sweet. Right to the point. I like Uncle Jesse already. I think my next door. Let's uh, he, wait. Let's let's just answer the exact same. Uh, let's answer on mm-hmm. three. Well, each of us think. Would, oh wait. Because I think so, I have, so, have a theory on what you're gonna say. So you're saying? Oh, it's just a yes or no answer. Should I? Yeah. Or a uh, good idea or bad idea. Okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Good Bad idea. idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew we weren't going to see eye to eye on this shit. <laughs> you think it's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. It's a terrible idea. Why? Why is it? Because t- imagine every girl that you hooked up with and then stopped hooking up with and then having to see that person live across from your hall for the rest of the time that you're in that apartment. That's not something you want. You want space. You want distance. You don't want to keep your home life Conversely, so that, conversely, imagine just like, oh, I'm tired. I, won't, I don't want to go out. But like, oh, shit, I could just knock on a door and have somebody to hang out with, to cuddle, to sleep with. That sounds pretty ideal to me. So you're th- OK. This is exactly our our big discrepancy in life. I'm thinking of the long term ramifications and you're thinking of while you're hooking up how great it is. Yeah. You're living in the moment. Living in the moment. Why don't you fast forward? Fast forward. Yeah. Um, having sex with one of my other neighbors. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> so you don't think you don't think there's any uh, negative ramifications? I don't know. I, I, well, yeah, definitely there are. But shit, it's going to be a fun ride while it's happening. <laughs> That's your. You other... ride roller coasters, and sometimes you feel sick afterwards, don't you? But. Hey, don't you like going upside down? Don't you like feeling the wind against your face? I know I do. It's funny because I don't like roller coasters for that exact reason. (laughs) The wind against your face? Yeah. 
<laughs> More than anything else, I hate the wind Amir gets in hates, my face. Amir hates the moment, too. Yeah. I can't enjoy the moment because I know what the next three hours will be like. Wow. What a glorious my, little prison you live in. My, <laughs> I look around and it's towel covered. My, <laughs> my brain won't let me enjoy things because it knows that I will, um, yeah, uh, suffer for it at a later hour. Interesting. My brain won't let me protect myself against yeah. long-term ramifications because, well, my penis is the boss of me. <laughs> it's sort of uh, the little admiral more than anything else, like a Napoleon sort of in charge of the entire army. Well, I resent you calling body. it little, but yeah, <laughs> essentially, I understand, you know, next to the rest of my body, I imagine is what you're saying. No, I'm, little... saying, I'm saying it's an actual I'm small I'm saying you have a micro penis. A little guy, a little, little peen peen. A uh, pretty much inverted peen. <laughs> That uh, somehow controls you from the inside. <laughs> like, uh, who's that uh, boss on Ninja Turtles? The brain inside of oh, the body. Oh, Krang. Yeah, Krang. My penis is my Krang. Yeah, and your like, penis is your Krang. My penis is the boss and my phone is its little minion. <laughs> <laughs> You're still going to plan on getting rid of your phone? I, well, I need to because I think I need to, I need to chop the head off my dick. <laughs> I ain't shot the head off my dick. I think I think my my penis tells my phone what to do. Yeah, like this little fucking. I'm this, holding up my phone right yeah, now. Yeah, that little this little thin deck of right cards. Here. <laughs> that this, little three inch by one inch plastic disc. <laughs> this glass temptress. <laughs> Your penis controls the phone. My and penis that, controls the phone. So my that, penis controls me. So you're gonna instead of cut off your dick, cut off your phone. Yeah, that's that's my last resort. And that's gonna, I think, force me to be a better person. I but, hope. But can you live without Snapchat, Instagram, Tinder, Facebook, Twitter, email, text messages? I'll still have email on my computer. Yeah. Uh, what else do I need? Text. I, Te no, text, text kill me, man. I, I should not have text. I shouldn't be allowed to text. You can't, con you think you're, I guess that you have a le level of being self-aware that you're cutting yourself off without like being able to have the actual willpower not to text. I have no willpower. And I think the strongest thing I've ever done is recognize that. And <laughs> <laughs> that's, I know that's a sad statement. I'm aware everybody that's shedding a tear for me in their car or at work or on the subway right Suck now. Suck it back into your eye hole. I'm completely <laughs> aware. Uh, yeah, I'm too, I am, I, I give into, te into temptation. I know no boundaries. I need to, so like my sober thoughts, my like morning time thoughts are just yeah. like, get rid of your phone. Have you ever thought about therapy? I, you, uh, we talked about hypnotism. Yeah. Hypnotherapy. Our, our friend, uh, our friend who was addicted to cigarettes, uh, got hypnotized and hasn't smoked in almost two months now. Yeah. So, which uh, is pretty crazy. The hypnotherapist was able to like access parts of her brain that she's unable to otherwise. Right. Maybe so, that's what you're talking about, like a hard rewiring deeper in. That's what I need. So you're I like, need you're like, lobotomy. you're patching, you're patching like a, a a hole on a surface where like maybe the hypnotherapist can get in and like completely recalibrate your wall. That would be great. But my first question when uh, we talked about me getting hypnotized because I said I didn't want to pay for it but you said you would pay $200 for me to be hypnotized yeah and I asked my friend if the hypnotist was hot <laughs> <laughs> and she said she was a stone cold stunner she did say she was really cute yeah which made so you want to go even yeah more. like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> it's already failing you <laughs> right uh <clears throat> where were we I think we were going on to the next question Oh, no. Oh, no. We were uh, still on this question. Which is what? Uh, should Jesse hook up with his neighbor? I say yes. You say oh, no. yeah. I say yes. Oh, yeah. I say no. Jake says yes. Hopefully the answer, I guess, I don't know. What do you guys think? Why don't you uh, email us in and let us know your opinion? I mean, I feel like it's too sticky of a situation to get involved in. It I think can't if he's even well. asking, then he already has. Oh, He just wanted that. Like, that's something I would do. You would never be like, oh, dude, my neighbor is, like, really hot. She wants to hook up with me. Should I do it? You would right. just know that you shouldn't. Right. And me, I would say, should I do it? Meanwhile, I probably already have. So, Uncle Jesse, if you are listening, and I know you are listening, please let us know if you have yet. And right. uh, when you break up or things fall apart... I want you to call in and let us know how miserable your life no, is so I know that I can that laugh at you. I know people I that have just married their neighbors. get off That's the how fair. dumb, how stupid, how short-sighted this entire I thing was. Why so don't you I let us just, know how good I the sex look, was? I can let us know how good the sex was. Let us know how awesome it was coming home drunk after striking out at a bar, knocking on your neighbor's door, and being able to fuck someone. Let us know how good that felt. You're... 
You're squeezing my thigh. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> I think I just Snapchatted you. Uh, I'm sorry for yelling at you, Jesse. You didn't deserve that. <laughs> I was projecting. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go on to the next question. <clears throat> oh, this one's sort of in the same theme of trust. Oh, good. A this nice, is our trust episode. Yeah, our trust episode. This one comes from Uncle Joey. If we say trust a couple more times, we can call this episode trust. Okay, I'll think about it. Trust. Hey, big fan, but I was wondering, just started a relationship and I'm pretty paranoid about cheaters, so I was wondering if you guys can give me some tips on what to recognize and make sure I can catch them in the act. Also, should I be ever vigilant? I'm all for trusting them. Did he use air quotes? No, that was me. I'm all for trusting them, but I'd rather have reassurance on my own trusting because I'm not too sure if anyone can really trust anyone, especially themselves, but especially their spouses. Holy shit. <laughs> Never be in a relationship. I'm not sure if anyone can really trust anyone, especially themselves, but especially their spouses. I mean, bad grammar. <laughs> right off and, the bat. And uh, aside from bad grammar, bad attitude to have about relationships. <laughs> Holy shit, no one can trust anyone? Especially themselves, but especially Should I be ever vigilant? <laughs> it sounds like no matter what we say, you are. Also, your biggest desire is to catch someone in the act? How do I recognize a cheater so I can catch them in the act? <laughs> you fucking coward. <laughs> Dude, like, I mean, what sort of like weird, like anti-Semitic or racist things do you want us to say? Like, how do you recognize a cheater by their like sloped brow? Some sort of like physical appearance things that we can tell you about. Cheaters love strawberry milkshakes. <laughs> Take her out to dessert, okay? Uh, how do you rec How do you recognize a cheater? I don't. You don't. I think. Uh, I would, have you heard the thing like once a cheater, always a cheater? Yeah. Would you agree with that? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think so. So I think you think you can cheat on someone and then later on you can just not cheat? I think so. Okay. You disagree? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess that's true. I guess, but I feel like once a cheater, the odds of you cheating are much higher. Right. I guess people are more predisposed to doing it. But right. I do think you can like... Like if you, if you lined up 10 guys and five of them have cheated before and five of them haven't, I would, t I would put money on... If all in all of their next relationships, the five that have cheated before would probably be more likely to cheat than the five that have not. I agree, but I also think that of the five that have cheated, if they like given, you know, if they've like learned something from it, or if they've grown from it in some way, maybe they can be people that don't do it in the future. Yes, maybe so. But how should I recognize and capture Back a cheater? To the point. <laughs> <laughs> and and where do you get those little plastic handcuffs so I can make a citizen's arrest on my on my unfaithful freaking girlfriend? I'd love to put a glue trap over my girlfriend's vagina and catch a <laughs> cheater in the goddamn act. Can I fuck her with a Chinese finger trap? <laughs> that way I'll know. I'll know. The next person that gets stuck inside that was a goddamn cheater. <laughs> you are I think you are not ready for a relationship. <laughs> Maybe he's a cheater. He's the guy from. He's the boyfriend of the last girlfriend. He's like, I can't. I, I don't want her to. Speak They're both to contacting us. Both of you guys break up. I feel like you need to uh, learn to trust yourself first. If you don't think you can, if you think you're physically incapable of cheating, or like if you think you're great at uh, resisting temptation, then I think you just have to find someone with your same core values. But Jesus, don't be some kind of psycho who is like. <laughs> Hell bent on catching a cheater. He also says, like, "I'm all for trusting them, but I'd rather have reassurance." So you're not all for trusting. No, them. all for trusting is not having reassurance. It's it's about not being nervous every every time your boyfriend or girlfriend goes out or goes to work. Definitely missed the point <laughs> of uh, you know having a, a nice healthy relationship. It is. Would you say it's built on trust? I think it, uh, among other things, but yeah, there's you can't break trust right yeah there's like a self-fulfilling prophecy because i don't even know if that's the correct term but like you're always looking for the most attractive person to be with and then when you find a really attractive person you're just paranoid that other people are trying to hook up with them yeah it's so true. it's like okay what's the other option finding someone who's not going to get hit on every time they go to somewhere well i think the weakest thing you can do in a relationship is like try to 
try to like is to be jealous to like yeah try to keep your girlfriend from the real world or something or keep your boyfriend from the real world because then that like insecurity in your mind goes into theirs yeah it's like, oh well my boyfriend's uh sort of an insecure piece of shit look at that guy he's confident right and then yeah then you then cheating all of a sudden seems really appealing when you're obsessed you're obsessed with like your girlfriend cheating on you yeah i sort of hate when like people are very jealous or like you know like this guy non-trustworthy because it's basically taking their insecurities and their like shortcomings projecting and projecting it onto your yeah and then it's like it only affects you so it's like i am sort of an asshole who doesn't know how to trust people so you have to change your life to be with me right no why don't you become an change? asshole too <laughs> yeah exactly why don't I, you have to become the the asshole prick that i am because otherwise we won't get along and I've also, i'm not gonna change i've been there i've been like nervous that my that a girlfriend was cheating before i've been like jealous of another guy but i think what uh you're supposed to do and i've also fucked this up but you have to just trust the other person, and then that person sort of rises to the occasion to be trustworthy. Right. Or if they don't, then the relationship wasn't built to last anyway. There you go. So you just basically, every day is a test. And if the, your girlfriend fails, then you realize that you shouldn't have trusted her to begin with. There you go. But there's no rules or walls you can set up to prevent. Like, it's not like you're going to get married to someone. It's like, oh, thank God I invented all those rules. Otherwise, she would have hooked up with me. Now we can get married. <laughs> Phew. Can you imagine if I didn't set up these emotional walls that she Thank couldn't God I created through. all the boundaries <laughs> thank god she adhered to all of my rules now we can live together forever in a resentful terrible marriage i also hate the the idea that like when your girlfriend or boyfriend cheats on you and you get mad at the other person rather than at your boyfriend or girlfriend you think that I think your anger should lie with your significant other, not with the other person. Like the other person may or may not have even known or been involved in the relationship. Right. There's there's a person who's like who's more accountable and it's the person who's been in the relationship for all that time. Yeah, exactly. But like a lot of guys are like, dude, if I ever find the guy that my girlfriend cheated on me with, I'm gonna bash his brains in. <laughs> like, why him? Why aren't you mad at your girlfriend? Yeah, so you're advocating that they should bash their girlfriend's <laughs> brains in, right? No, I should. I, <laughs> well, I, I, well, no, it just, oh, we are out of time. Wow. Well, <laughs> you're sure? We're out of time. Clarify it. <laughs> Newspaper spinning towards the center. <laughs> Blumenfeld advocates bashing girlfriend's brains in. Yeah, don't bash anyone's <laughs> brains in. But I think it's true. There's like, uh, there's you can sort of like spread the blame around and sometimes it's on you sometimes it's on the person that that maybe created some kind of bad environment that your girlfriend wanted to escape exactly right um yeah i don't know what how else to say it trust trust <laughs> let's see how much time we have all right we're almost actually out of time but let's try to get through one more question let's do it we never took that little break that you like to take i really do like my breathers yeah, let's yeah. take it now a nice 10 minute one uh, a 10 minute breather at a the ten, 30 minute mark a 10 minute breather <laughs> i need i need to, some time to decompress jesus yeah i mean there was a lot of there's a lot of heavy shit in there it was like dad dying yeah yeah cheating spouses if you want you can grab a towel off the wall and just sort of dab dabble your forehead You'd with kill it. me if i pulled one of these towels off the wall yeah if i just it. exposed this hard surface of the tv for my voice to bounce off of <laughs> it would end me it really <laughs> would end me i know how to get your goat <laughs> Uh, the email again, if you do find yourself in a sticky situation like Aunt Becky, Uncle Jesse, Uncle Joey, yeah, and Danny, you're ready to be uh, torn apart and made fun of, <laughs> is if I were you show at gmail.com. We also mean Jake have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Jake and Amir, that we post a lot of stuff if I were you show related on. We also have a YouTube channel. We're going to try to upload more YouTube uh, video versions of the podcast. Yes. So if you search if I were you show on YouTube, you can watch us. Um, you can watch a full episode that we videotaped. What's the better better way to say videotaped? Filmed. Yeah, we filmed. We filmed and uploaded it. I think because filmed makes it sound so like pretentious. We filmed it. Yeah. We so put we it filmed on this film. episode, <laughs> this motion picture. And uh, but a videotape is like more accurate to what we did. It's just not. Uh, we there's no. It's not videotape. You know. We somewhere in. But between it was the equivalent film. of just like taking my dad's camera and asking my friend to operate it. Yeah. That's what we thought about our camera operators, that they were dealing with our parents' equipment. Um, you know what I was thinking of is you think it would be a good idea or a bad idea to post just an audio version of every episode to YouTube. Interesting. That way people can listen to it on YouTube. More people will find it that way. Yeah, you know, I listen to albums on YouTube. I listen to songs on YouTube all the time. And then you get into it. And it, it. doesn't – it's not like a – 
a video I experience. Music, yeah, I don't want to yeah. watch a music video. I just want to press play. It's like an album cover. We so should maybe, totally do that. So maybe like starting next week, I'll just upload episode one. I'll make sure they're old episodes so that, you know, we're still getting our plays online on iTunes. You can listen to it on iTunes or if, if I were you show.com. Yeah. But uh, that way, you know, at least more people will find out about the show. Are we not answering a question anymore? No, yeah, we're just talking about <laughs> podcast strategy more than anything else. This seems else. like a conversation we would be having <laughs> off like when the camera when the when the mics are off doesn't it doesn't it seem like this was us walking to the subway you wanted the goddamn break <laughs> here it is you loser how dare you call me out i gave you your break and had a nice conversation and then you and then you, you ridiculed me now i know what these emailers spent, feel like i spent 45 minutes hanging towels around my apartment and the first thing you did was publicly shame me I went to bed, bath, and fucking beyond this morning at 8 a.m. Bought 9,000 blanket. Blankets. That was from beyond. <laughs> that's from bed. That's from bath. That one's from beyond. That flannel shirt over there, that's from and, if you can imagine. That was actually from 20 Jeans, who's our sponsor today. Oh, shit. So like it's that like, shirt. Yeah, it's a good, it's a nice plug. Um, oh, God. All right, it's really hot in here. We can't, we can't even put on the air conditioning because that's like another thing that adjusts sound or it's compromises sound quality <laughs> this is all scribbled in a weird <laughs> algorithm on amir's wall hidden behind a towel right now but he was in here last night with a sharpie writing on the ceiling writing on the floor <laughs> uh hey someone's got to be the audio engineer and, um, and actually it's gonna be me from now on i promise i'll study up and <laughs> take these towels off opening a snapchat <laughs> I'm gonna study audio. I really am. I'm gonna better myself. Oh shit! It's titties. Yeah. Tit, tit, tit. <laughs> swipe, 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 swipe. Tinder. Um, all right. Let's get to the last question. <clears throat> so this one comes from God. What's another guy on Full House? Is that is that who we've been doing? <laughs> Steve. Oh yeah, Steve, aka Aladdin, writes. I've been with this girl for two years, and since we moved in together last year, she's caught me masturbating a couple times. She's been getting upset because she'd rather have sex or go down on me than know that I'm masturbating in the other room. She's even offered to go down on me while I watch porn, which would be fine, but then I can't watch the really good stuff without her commenting on my choice. Interracial, BBC, Asian girls. However, sometimes I just need me time, and I don't want her help when I'm trying to do me. How can I ask her politely to let me masturbate in peace? Is that, that is an amazing a, question? It's so complex. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I feel like I have five can, different answers. Yeah, this is a, a, trying to like shoehorn this in as the last question is the biggest mistake we've ever made on this podcast. <laughs> and I'm talking about the echoey episode. Yeah. This is worse than recording that in a cavernous apartment. <laughs> I, I think this is worse. <laughs> okay, wait, really quick. We could spend an, an entire 30 minutes talking about this. And now, uh, now I'm sort of tempted to, but let's try to not because – well, we can talk about it for as long as it'll take. But um, can you explain this to me as a porn aficionado? How dare you? My mother listens to this. <laughs> BBC. You know, I thought about that, and I, at first I thought uh, he was talking about BBW, which is Big Beautiful Women. Uh-huh. And I, BBC might be big black chicks, but I can't, like, I think it also could be a typo. How close uh, is C to W on the keyboard? Far. Yeah, Two maybe maybe he just was typing BBW when he was like, oh, BBC, because, like, everyone knows BBC is another, I don't know. Would it be big black cocks? Big black cocks, maybe. I, we can search it right now. <laughs> That's another funny uh, search result, or yeah, your B search history. <laughs> BBC. <laughs> Uh, okay. I don't, yeah, all right, cool. That aside, this guy, so take us through your emotions as you read this question. One, it's like, One, oh. Everyone masturbates. Yeah. Your girlfriend should not be upset. I'm surprised that she's caught you multiple times. <laughs> I think that's a little cray. And right? then on the flip side of that. Um, you shouldn't be like masturbating in another room while your, <laughs> your girlfriend's home. And I don't think you can say, um, she uh dj <laughs> that's steve's girlfriend right? yeah i don't think you can say dj i'm gonna go into the bedroom and masturbate please don't come in because right. then she, of course she's like there's some sort of like emotional conflict there but then on the flip side of that she's offering to go down on him right that's you know but I while think, he watches porn which, which like the animal version of ourselves like 
dude, you gotta do that. Are sounds you really me? hot. Getting but a I BJ. That, I don't think that is hot. I, it, for me, you keep porn and girlfriends separate. Like, I would never want my girlfriends knowing what porn I watch because the shit that I watch isn't stuff I would want in bed with someone I love. So you're saying, is there also like a level of, I masturbate because I know what I like the best. There's yeah. no blowjob better than me masturbating. Masturbating is like inherently a little debaucherous, a little shameful, a little like guilty. And I don't think it's something you want your girlfriend involved in. You want to hide it from her. But at the same time, you, so I don't know. <laughs> your brain is melting. Fuck, I'm breaking. <laughs> I don't think you can ask her <laughs> permission to masturbate i think you have to do it you live with someone now so do it when she's not home do it when you're in the shower find time keep it secret how do you watch that's porn? how everyone does it you don't get this everyone masturbates everyone watches porn you don't have to like tell your girlfriend you're doing it this guy is probably in, in one of those like broken trust relationships where she's like if you're going to the other room are you texting someone what are you doing like no i'm just trying to jerk off but why would he do that when she's home? Why can't he do that else, else time? Else time. <laughs> yeah, else time. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. That's my advice. Do it when she's not at home. But you can't watch porn in the shower. You can on your phone. Yeah, you sure can. You have Wi-Fi. You have a strong Wi-Fi. You have an iPhone. So you fine. run the shower. You keep your phone out of the shower. Well, I mean, if, if she like really never leaves the house, then I guess, unfortunately, your masturbation time is going to be very, very short and secretive. So do it in the shower. Run the cold water so you're not wasting the hot water. It's a little <laughs> shameful that you're wasting water, but you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Maybe go in there, watch some videos, get yourself up, get yourself excited. <laughs> then when it's time, turn on the shower. You're going to masturbate. Five minutes tops, bud. I'm sorry. Get it out. Hop in the shower. Erase your history. Get out. Pretend like nothing happened. If your girlfriend offered to go down on you while you watch porn, would you be like, pumping your fist yes or would you be like i don't want that i don't want that at all that's really? like the least hot thing in the world to me interesting a girl going down on you while you watch porn is the least hot thing yeah because you keep those two things separately completely separate which one would you say feels better just like on a complete physical level not like an emotional level like obviously maybe blowjob feels better because you're with someone else and that's like exciting but what would you say? You say you're so good at masturbating yourself that you think it's better than any blowjob has ever I'm such a pro. Felt. Yeah. God, I really think my mom does listen to this. <laughs> um, mom, turn, pause it, turn, <laughs> turn it to off. side two. <laughs> you send her cassettes. And that's the podcast. Remember that that email is if I were you at gmail dot if I were you show at gmail dot com. That's right. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I think they both feel really good in their own way, and I think blowjobs are even when they're not. Um, uh, inextricably linked to uh, to emotion, yeah. like if it were a blowjob from a stranger, uh, I think I guess <laughs> blowjobs always feel better. Masturbating is a little more. Fuck, I don't know. They're both so good. <laughs> don't no, make me choose. It's it, like a Sophie's choice. Yeah, it's like telling <laughs> it's cheese or bacon. You know, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. We're back to cheeseburgers and both? salads. <laughs> So our, our final advice for this guy is do it when your girlfriend's not around. Yeah, she's never going to be okay with it, but you're also never going to stop masturbating. So just hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Don't fight it. Shit, is this a... <laughs> hide it. Don't fight it. When you look at yourself, just confide it. Confide in me. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Why can't you see? <laughs> Oh, say can you see? Uh, you don't blow me. <laughs> now we're definitely actually out of time. We try to keep these to 30 minutes or less. Sometimes we go over, hey, it's going to happen. What are we at right now? Uh, honestly, uh, this new recording device that I use doesn't uh, calibrate time, but I'm guessing 40, wow. 35 to Longest 40 minutes. Longest episode ever? Uh, it's up there. Wow. The Allison Williams episode was very long, too. Um, anyway, that's our time. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. Uh, if you didn't know, we do have a website, ifireyoushow.com. You can listen to all the episodes, or you can also go to seizethecheese.com. Yep. And pretty soon you're going to be able to watch it on YouTube. Listen that, to it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start uploading those to YouTube as well. We also have t-shirts, swag, if you will. Oh, hashtag swag. <laughs> Which are, you can go to our website, ifireyoushow.com, and we, there's links there to the shirts if you want to. That's like another way to support the uh, podcast. But like, yeah, just listening to it and spreading the word and all your positive tweets and emails and Facebook messages, they really, they really make us feel like, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, like we're doing... 
a real hero's job, I well, guess. Then I guess actually you should stop because I don't want it to go to your head that much. I really feel like a doctor or a teacher <laughs> or some shit. Like my cousin was actually was actually in Malawi uh, helping uh, a lot of like these orphans uh, sort or of like get better, planting like, gardens or whatever. Yeah. But I feel, and <laughs> like, for a minute I felt like, oh, I should do something too. And then I read a tweet that said, <laughs> if I were you, show is so funny. And I said, you know what? F- f- fuck you, cousin. I'm better than you. I think he's saving two to five lives a day. We're reaching tens of thousands. Like, yeah. it's really and not before, even Didn't comparable. you advocate against uh, someone bashing their girlfriend's head in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the proof is in the pudding. Wait, no, that's not what that means. Never mind. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much for listening to the show. And uh, we're going to end it with another, with another theme song. Oh, right. Theme songs. You can submit your own. Like Haley did at the beginning when Jake proposed to her. Yeah, or, I would uh, love to hear back on you. And uh, we're also, back from you on that, by the way. We're also going to play one at the end of the episode, and this one's from our boy Harris Carlin. Harris, you the man, dude. <laughs> you the man, dude. Enjoy, and we'll be back next week and every Monday for the rest of time. Wow. Later. Wow.